Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. I'm going to be doing your reading, your general reading for general love and general career, etc. Just life for um, October 1st through 7th, 2018. We're going to see what energies are going to be surrounding you this week. Um, what's going to be coming in. And the first one that I'm going to read is um, Scorpio. Then I'm going to do Pisces. And then I will do Cancer, okay? Okay. I will try to time stamp it below. I feel like I actually forgot to timestamp it for my other video, which I'm going to have to go back and change. Um, but yeah, we'll check this out for you guys. What's going on for general life this week? And again, guys, remember that these readings will not resonate with every single one of you. Um, everybody has different placements, different things going on in their lives. And, you know, I can't pick up on every single person's energy and what's going on in their lives every single week. That's just a lot. <laughs> but if you are looking for guidance and... Um, you need some help. I have $5 off of all of my private readings. You can book them by checking the description box below this video. And okay. And I also have all the monthlies up for every sign and monthly love readings. All right, so going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, general life, energies, work. How are my Scorpios going to be doing this October 1st through 7th, this first week of October? We're getting closer to your birthday season. First, we get the tower reversed. Something that needs to be changed that is not changing. Something that needs to come down but is not coming down. A situation. Crazy. This is weird. This one really wants to come out. The hero font. Something traditional. Often something to do with churches. Um, I mean, I'm not saying this is, like, just, you know, religious and stuff like that. <laughs> but it could be something to do with um, what you see as, like, your higher power. Or you could be receiving messages from, um, you know, your higher self here this week. About a situation that needs to change or something that has happened. I wonder why the tower is reversed. That's so strange. Um, it could also just mean that there's something that less huge that happened within a situation. Three of Pentacles. You could be building upon a situation here. Um within, it this doesn't have to be a church, but it could also be a large entity of work, um, you know, a school, a, uh, like, you know, higher education, you could be honing up a new, you could be honing, not honing up, you could be honing a new skill, learning a new skill here, um, let me move these out of the way, I just realized they're still in the shot over there, <gasps> okay, yeah, this looks really, really nice, guys, it looks like you guys are avoiding um, some situation, either that or, you know, there is a minor change here within a situation with school, work, um, whatever sort of, it could also be religion, it could be that, you know, you're receiving some messages that are kind of like changing, some different work, and it, it, that whatever is going on this week, whatever you're building upon, your higher self is kind of guiding you towards this for some reason. There's a reason or something that led you to get to um, this situation with whatever this hero font situation is, um, and I do think it might be for some of you for within religion. You might be meeting somebody. Again, it's kind of weird, Scorpio. Because <laughs> I feel like... I don't know. This is kind of a strange energy. It's very relaxing. It's very... I mean, this is also the card of Taurus. You could be building um, something with a Taurus after something that has happened. Maybe there was an issue in the past um, within with a Taurus at a workplace. Somebody that you work with and you needed to reconcile it. And now, you know... That whole situation is over. You're rebuilding your friendship or relationship or whatever this is, the situation um, at work here. Maybe it was just like a work relationship or like they needed, like not, I'm not saying like a, like an actual relationship, like love. I mean like just somebody that you work with. Um, I'm, all, I'm also getting again that, um, yeah, you could have had a major change within a religious environment. I'm not saying that you're all like going to church or something, but um, or something to do with your religious views or um, your views of people within religion or something to do with your religious state. I'm not just saying religious, like as in like church, I'm Christian, I am Buddhist, I am, you know, like a church of, I don't know, it sounds like I'm talking about the Catholic church, but I'm not. I'm just saying um, within your religious views, something has changed. Um, there is a change there. Um, you're building them up, uh, back up again. You're starting to... Um, Build something within this, whatever this entity is, whether, whether it be religion, whether it be a school, whether it be, you know, a large group that you work with or a large entity that you want to work with. Um, there's a situation here. I don't feel the tower is negative, but I do feel that, like, something, it's like the last fall. It's like something, did, some, some last thing needed to end or some last thing needed to start crashing through here. 
for whatever changes are coming in here, which is going to relieve a lot of your stresses, a lot of, um, you know, whatever you feel like has been plaguing you, been carrying all these wands on your back here, you're rebuilding from it, you're building a new foundation within, um, with either Taurus or, I mean, the Hierophant is the card of Taurus, or, you know, or within religion, within your own beliefs, your own, within your own system of beliefs here. Belief in yourself. Maybe you didn't believe you could do what you were. You're like maybe you didn't believe you could get to where you were. You are starting to get to, or where you are right now, and you are getting there. You're feeling a lot more connected and a lot more powerful. Um, and this is something that maybe is like a surprise to you this week. You're like, wow, I didn't think I'd get here, and now I don't have to worry about all these things that I used to have to worry about. I don't know, Scorpios. It seems like a very hashtag woke. <laughs> oh God, somebody punched me. Very awakening type of um, feeling to this week, though very like understanding very it's different it's like a new leaf like you're releasing something and connecting to something greater so let's check out your love for this week energies of love this week love and relationships for my scorpios this week general energy for love and relationships for my scorpios this week it's coming in eight of swords Saying so maybe there's an issue that you don't want to face, something that you don't understand like a way through, that you might be within a situation where you don't really understand what's wrong, um, or you could be building up some issues in your head to make them sound worse than they actually are. Whatever it is, you're feeling very trapped. Queen of Wands, maybe by a fire sign. Um, I'm not understanding how to communicate with a fire sign here, how to reach them. The star, yet yeah, you are being divinely guided right now. Trust your um, inner guidance. Trust that you're going to get through this. The Eight of Swords is a situation that you are putting yourself in. You're tying yourself up and leaving yourself there to think about what the heck am I doing? Where am I going here? You know? The Six of Swords. You're moving on towards something. You're moving away from a, a negative period. You're moving away from this. Maybe in the beginning of the week, things can be confusing, feel weird. Again, I think that's that sensitive energy of the Cancer Moon on the first Monday and Tuesday here. And by the end of the week, we are moving into Venus and retrograde. It is going retrograde in your sign. So things could be a little bit confusing. You might need some more time to yourself. Um, but there's also an energy of healing. So I feel like Venus going retrograde in Scorpio, um, it's going to affect a lot of things. You're going to want to move on past negative situations you're also going to want to heal it looks like um you're either going to want to jump ship or you know move on past whatever situation is going on within your relationship positively but whatever it is there is a movement here either that you're maybe traveling at the end of the week you might have um somewhere to go within your love relationship you might be offered somewhere to go that is a very healing experience for you um so if you know if somebody invites you out this weekend or something um, of that nature around that time towards the end of the week. Um, it does feel like that's going to be a good decision for you. You're going to be able to move on from a darker period to a brighter one. Um, whether it even be movement, you might even like go on a boat ride or something or like go on a little adventure, like a day adventure this weekend. Um, that could be very healing for your relationship. So yeah, if you guys want to go hiking, go to the beach, go, I mean, oh gosh, see, I say this stuff, but I live in Florida, so <laughs> I can go to the beach anytime. I feel bad when I say that and I'm like, no, nah, it's October in other places but in some places of the world you know it's getting to be spring summer so <laughs> whatever um anyways <laughs> but yeah get out into nature do something with your sweetie go pick some apples maybe you know ignite the fire heal the relationship by reigniting the passion adding some more passion some more spice to your life here um and i think that'll help you get through this if you communicate um you show that you're passionate um, that'll heal the relationship. You're being divinely guided towards, um, I feel like even nature. I don't know why the six of swords to me today is like feeling very nature. Like, um, if you go out into nature, you're going to be able to move on from a situation. I think that connecting with somebody, like if you want to go out on a real good date, like maybe like take a walk, take a, a hike, get to know them in a different space here. Or, you know, wherever you're going, you could be going on like a retreat with your friends, like, hey, let's go camping or something this weekend. Good decision, a healing decision for your love and your relationship aspect or your heart chakra for your life. You might meet somebody, you might move on. Okay, let's see. Okay, now we're going to move on. So that was it for Scorpios for your weekly for October 1st through 7th. So have a wonderful week, Scorpio. We're almost to your birthday season. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the next sign. 
Hello Pisces, hope everything is going well this week with you guys. So let's check out what we got going on for general energies, career, general life. What is going on in my Pisces general life? And remember guys, these readings will not resonate with every single Pisces. If you want to book a private reading for more um, guidance or if you're looking for more guidance and this didn't resonate with you, um, you know, I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm just picking up on certain score, um, sorry, certain Pisces energy and not every, I can't pick up on every single one of you. There's thousands and hundreds. There's just so many of you guys. All sorts of different placements. So if it doesn't resonate with you, I do apologize. I'm not doing it on purpose. But if you are looking to book a private reading, um, I have $5 off until October 15th off of all of my readings. And um, yeah, you can book that by checking the description, do bo oh, sorry, the description box. Why can't I speak below this video? All the information is there. I'm booking the readings. Okay, guys. So let's going, what's going on for my Pisces right now? For October 1st through 7th, 2018. Pisces, what's going on for you guys? General energies. I'm using my Gustav Klimt deck. Ooh, six of pentacles. You guys are feeling nostalgic. Maybe even needing some help right now. Having somebody reach out to help you, guide you. Uh, in a situation, somebody could, give you, could be giving you some money, some monetary help within a work situation. Maybe um, getting some more tips. <laughs> if you work in a job with tips or a, a small raise. I'm not saying that like, you're going to get like a huge raise, but um, there's reciprocation here. What else is going on here? Um, it could also be soul contract work and also focusing on a situation from the past. It's on your mind. Let's see, Pisces, what's coming in for you this week? General energies, career, life. Seven of Wands, feeling defensive, feeling um, feeling like you have to fight everybody else around you, like you're standing um, and fighting a bunch of other people for the position that you're in. Maybe there's something below the surface that you don't want to come to terms with, so you are taking it out on other people. Or you're feeling really defensive about um, the way this person is trying to communicate or come back to you here, um, to help you out even. Um, you're feeling really defensive about it. Really prone to fighting. You also get the Six of Cups, which is reconciliation. Um, you know, that could also be a soulmate. Honestly, you have two sixes this month. They're just during this week, so you could be having a, I don't know, a reunion with a soulmate here, honestly. Somebody's coming back and you're thinking about somebody. You're feeling kind of defensive about it, but then there's reconciliation. There's the possibility for that. That's what Six of Cups is to me. It's also um, a soulmate card. Somebody that you've known in past lives, somebody that is a soulmate to you or a twin flame or has some sort of heart connection, some sort of soul connection to you. Also, reciprocations, feeling very nostalgic. There's something from the past on your mind this week, guys, that you're feeling really defensive about. Maybe a situation. You thought it was going to go one way and it didn't. Judgment. There could also be, um, judgment is the card of, you know, what needs to come out is coming out here. And I mean, I'm not saying like it, like you guys are absolutely going to, you know, be pouring your feelings out or dealing with what needs to come out here. But um, judgment does indicate, you know, coming to terms with it, facing your problems here, you have to face it. Okay, so if you want to have this reconciliation, if you want to deal with, um, if you want to connect your heart to whatever the situation or person is here that um, you feel this connection to, that you want to have this reconciliation with, that you, um, I do feel like you guys know who this is or what this situation is here. And you need to, uh, there's something on your side that needs to be dropped. The defenses need to be dropped here. You need to stop being defensive about it. You need to open up about it. Something needs to come to light here. Judgment is going to force that to light with Venus in retrograde. You might just jump into something and just finally be like, here, this is how I feel. I don't see it going negatively for you, honestly. I do feel that this is kind of forcing you to confront the skeletons literally in your closet. Bring out your dead. I gotta make a sticker or a card of that, guys. I'm gonna do it. And when I do, you guys will be the first to know, okay? Um, but there's definitely a situation here that needs to come to light. Um, something is coming out here. Something is being faced. And I do think that you guys are facing it this week. You guys are coming to terms with it. Why is this so crooked? <laughs> um, yeah. This looks really, really nice. Judgment. To end the week with judgment. That's a really powerful weekend card. This weekend you might be coming to grips with a lot of different things, feeling a lot of emotions, you know. But you're getting through it. You know, this needs to happen so that you can move on to a better chapter so that you can make the necessary changes that, um, you know, have the life that you want here. 
Pisces, and I feel like you guys know that. All right, so Pisces, love and relationships. What's coming out for love and relationships for my Pisces for October 1st through 7th, 2018. General energies for my love and relationships for my Pisces for October 1st through 7th, 2018. First, we get the Knight of Wands, passion. Moving forward passionately into something. Um, you want to make your feelings known towards somebody. Six of Wands, it's the right path. If you guys are feeling something for a fire sign or... Um, that maybe a fire sign is coming towards you and it is um, a great path for you. It's somebody that feels like this fire sign that is flirty, energetic, exciting, very attractive. Somebody that like catches your eye and it kind of comes to you and it's just giving off this very vibrant energy. That's what I'm getting here. Let's see how the rest of it plays out. The Six of Wands is feeling on top of the world with this situation. So maybe you come somebody with your with your feelings here and it works out temperance temper the situation <laughs> i'm also saying uh, maybe this could be something that you're realizing that you want to do maybe you're not immediately going for this if this is your feelings that you want to move towards um a certain direction towards a certain person um you feel is the right person for your situation um, it could need a little bit of a slowing down. Again, I do think that Venus in retrograde on October 5th is going to make us all kind of suddenly be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Either we're going to be like, whoa, 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 we had to slow it down for like a whole month here and not do anything and just look inside and be moody. But um, it could also mean that we jump into things. We need to temper our feelings here and be like, hey, you could be jumping into something a little bit in a crazy way here. You might want to tone it down don't declare that you love somebody um but you know say it in a more normal way you want to go out for some dinner i have to talk to you about something here temperance is the need to kind of not fully rush into something these are both rushing and this is like put the brakes on here and trust that the universe is guiding you with this you could also it also could just be saying the universe is guiding you we'll see if this last card says for love and romance for my piscians this October 1st through 7th, 2018. Nine of coins. Wow, you could um, be fe really feeling amazing, like single happy woman card. <laughs> you know, you could be feeling really passionate and excited, like, wow, I can't believe, like, all this good stuff is happening. I feel like I'm finally in the dating life that I want. I feel like I finally am working towards, like, somebody that I really like. Um, the nine of coins is, like, the perfect... You know, this person is also, like, your dream girl, your dream guy. It doesn't have to be a girl, but... um. This is the Dream Girl card. Sorry, or in this case, the Dream Bilbo card. Um, so yeah, this is, he's got what he wants here. He knows where to go. He has um, value in the situation. And, you know, he is coming across really like, as his best self here, absolutely intelligently. He's making the right decisions. He's looking great here with his little his little crystal ball or whatever you know the arc and stone not the crystal ball but they have it as like a crystal ball here <laughs> but um yeah either that or you guys could be feeling really passionate towards somebody that you see as this nine of coins this perfect person and you're freaking out and you're like oh my god i want to be with them so badly they're perfect for me i just like i need to do this and then yeah. but there's something you that's like hey slow it down this is not going anywhere relax this is a slow burn pisces if you want this to work out you gotta let it be a more of a slow burn um you know approach it gently um not full force it seems like um but also know that if you do want to approach it like I mean, i'm not saying like just hold put on the brakes totally but um you know think before you leap a little bit which i mean you guys are good at doing however it does seem like you guys are also just divinely guided towards this. none of these cards seem negative even though this one is like it's jumping at you. It's just saying, don't jump 100% into action, but know that this is the right path and the right person. You guys are actually doing well, it seems like, in this Venus retrograde. So, um, that's for my Pisces. Okay, so now let's move on to Cancer. Cancer. All right, Cancer. Let's see what's going on this week for you, October 1st through 7th, 2018. What's going on for my Cancers today? Or for this week, I'm saying today. Oh, okay. Can you tell I've been doing readings all day? <laughs> Alrighty, Cancers. So first we're going to use my Gustav Klimt deck for general career, general energies this week, October 1st through 7th, 2018. What do my Cancers need to know this week? Cancers my ascendant, guys. I love you guys. 
makes me happy when people assume I'm a Cancer. I'm like, oh my god, thank you for thinking I'm so sweet when I'm really an Aries Taurus cusp. So it's like the devil horns grow out of my head and I'm like, you think I'm that nice? <laughs> I'm actually crazy. Ooh, passionate week, guys. You guys are starting the week with, like, a new idea, a new, like, new feel for life. You're having a lot of energy here. There's, like, energy towards work, towards new work ideas. You can come up with some really amazing things and get a lot of stuff done this week is what I'm getting. You're starting it off, like, hot, like, grab the wand, and I'm running. <laughs> so you guys are starting off really, really well this week. Whoa, what just came out here? Ooh, the Ace of Cups here, Ace of Chalices. Oh my God, you got two Aces this week, guys. Potential for passion and love. And we're not even on the love part of the reading yet, Cancers. What's going on? If this is a new idea, it's the one that is just absolutely meant for you. This is like, this resonates with your heart. It like makes you so happy. You just are excited about this. This really is something that you love to do. If this is an idea with work or, you know, creative work too this is something that you love something that really speaks to your heart and really fulfills you emotionally as well as creatively and mentally here what's well, coming in this week for my cancers show me what's coming in this week for my cancers what a great energy and again monday tuesday we're starting off the week like that and eight of swords reverse you guys might be coming out of a situation this energy could help you get out of um something that you feel stuck in if you feel really trapped in a work situation or in um and in a life situation where you feel like you can't move forward in something you haven't had the energy, you haven't had the ideas, you haven't had the will, um, this week you're getting like a boost here. You're getting like a like a crack of lightning to the forehead here. Like, bam, here's an idea. Here's some passion. It's going to set you on fire. And they just give you like, then they just douse you with water. Like, go. <laughs> and you guys just take the, start the week off running. And just making changes in your life to get out of a situation. It could also be just that you're getting through a fear of anxiety, like a fears or anxiety that you've had for a while about something. You're like, this doesn't even make sense. Why am I letting this bother me? I didn't realize I was so stressed out about these things that I didn't even need to be stressed out about. That's what I'm getting here. I didn't need to worry about this. All I have to do is do this. Oh, why didn't I just look at it from this perspective? This one just came out too. What the hell is going on? These are all like love cards almost, guys. And I'm <laughs> trying to look at your career stuff. But it could be that you're coming into something again that you really love and that this takes you out of um, a negative situation, out of some negative thought um, patterns. You could be like, wow, I see a job here that I really want and I'm going for it. Either that or this could be, you know, the... Um, proposal of the job the offer here this is coming together getting something together here um two people coming together two sides you know two halves of a coin you know this is really really this is a this is a connection a commitment so i do think that this could be that you're getting a new job here or you're committing to a path in work or committing to something in life here could again be a relationship it could just be coming out that way so if you see this as a relationship i mean i'm about to do your love reading but <laughs> Um, if that's what it is, that's what it is for some of you. But this is, you guys are starting off the week with so much great energy. I think it might be because your moon is in cancer. You're feeling all sorts of creativity and emotions and emotional fulfillment. It's like you're just feeling love for yourself again, passion and love for yourself. And it's helping you um, get to new places in your relationships, whether they be love or business or, um, you know, the choices that you make. But you're coming into something really nice here. Okay, so let's check out your love and romance cancers. Love and romance for my cancers for October 1st through 7th, 2018. What do they need to know this month? I keep saying month. I'm so used to doing the monthly. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see. What is going on for my cancers for October 1st through 7th, 2018? My cancers. Nine of cups. Wishes coming true. Love. This is like, oh my god, your love wishes are coming true. Somebody that, like, is just like your wish come true could just appear in your life. Or you could just be really happy at the start of the week. Like, your relationships are going well or you're starting to date people. And it's just like, oh my god, I feel great. I feel really great about myself. People are into me. There's, oh my god, Ace of Swords. You're, yeah, you're getting a victory here. Definite victory. A wish coming true in a relationship. Clarity. Maybe somebody's telling you how they feel. Somebody that you really, really wanted. Clarity. Okay, what's coming in here for my Cancers this week? For my Cancers. 
Six of Swords moving forward. You're getting either that or this could also be wishful thinking that you get clarity on and you're able to finally move forward towards like real wish to your real wish here. I don't know though. It doesn't feel that negative. It feels positive. It feels like it just feels like you're really feeling amazing this week. Like you made it. You're like, wow, I just have such a sense of victory moving forward in relationships and love this week. Like there's a lot of mental clarity um, moving on from darker times. If you're in relationships, page of coins, rebuilding um, new foundations. You could also be moving on with a, um, a with an earth sign, a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus here, a younger earth sign, somebody who might be younger than you, somebody, and they don't have to be younger than you, but somebody, you know, that is an earth sign here could be wanting to start something with you, start wanting to, you know, start getting to know you, date you, because they see you as like a wish come true. Um, this person might want to move towards you. <laughs> it could be vice versa here. They see you as their wish come true and they're like, oh my God, I'm moving towards this person. Like, what am I doing? Um, but you're moving on towards them, I think, though, as well. And that's really, really nice. Like, it's an exciting thing. It's like you get clarity. This is, I'm totally moving on towards this. What am I doing? Like, of course, I'm, I'm going to take this new opportunity. You're on to bigger and better things here. You're on to your wish coming true. And you know it. You have clarity that is coming in this week, and you're right, Cancers. Okay. So, I hope this was helpful for you all. I'll see you guys in the next weekly reading. Check out the monthlies um, for October as well as your monthly love readings. I have them up for every single sign. Like and subscribe and leave a comment of your favorite scary movie or Halloween movie, true crime show, whatever. Um, I love all of it and it's October. This is my favorite month so leave me those. And thank you guys so much for all your support. And if you're looking to book a private reading, again, $5 off of all of my readings until um, October 15th. So if you want to book one, um, all the information is in the description box below. Thank you guys so much.